Good morning. It's Saturday. <laughs> Ashley's eating sausages. <laughs> Um, I have my photo shoots with John Barman and Tom Felton today. I don't understand the schedule, but John Barman has a morning photo shoot at like 10 to 11. Um, and it is currently nine past nine. We were gonna leave at nine, but every single one of our alarms didn't go off. So we woke up an hour late, which like, eh, not great, but like, it's not disastrous. Um, we're hoping they will like make it just before 11 I can run in and be like is it my photo shoot time but he does have a photo shoot like time later on so like, I'm pretty sure they're not going to be like fuck you <laughs> but we're just trying to figure out how to get to Olympia because yesterday involved quite a trek and we just can't be fucked with that and it is chugging it down yeah so who knows how long this is going to take us today but we're going to get there so I have braved the actual Comic Con. I am lost. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just walking. This is crazy. But like, going with it. I think I found. I don't know what I found. I found a Jason Momoa thing. And a low entry sign. The problem is, they have like maps to tell you where like things are. But they don't tell you where you are. So. We're going with it. This is a maze, but I will keep love it. So I need to find I need to try and find photo shoot D. I don't even know where I am. And I have 15 minutes to actually find said place. And I swear I'm just walking. I need to find a staff member. So I've met John Marmon and I came back to Yelp because it's crazy downstairs. Um, Tom Felton has a shoot, I think at quarter to 12, and my batch might get taken, we're not sure. But I got my picture taken with John, and basically there's like a funny little line over here, so I had to go and make John put his coat back on and get another picture, so I have two. Not mad at all. In the chill out zone, sweating and just alone because I don't know where anyone is and then I'm going back down to the craziness to meet Draco Malfoy. Not ready for that. So I'm gonna put this stuff into a frame just so it's all like neat and protected. Oh god I'm gonna have to cart this home. I didn't think this through. Oh well. So I'm back navigating LFCC. <laughs> this is just something else. Um, I don't know if I'll get my photo like just that. I think I've got the timing slightly. Well, I think I'm early, which is better than late. Um, but I'm batch three and it says batch three is only possible, which I think it said that for John when I got in. So we'll see how it goes. I think a lot of people might just wait it out till the afternoon, like if they're not sure. So I'm just gonna check the schedule just now. And then linger and then be like, batch three, can I have a picture? <laughs> like to get autographs but I don't really know how it works and they charge you so like I'm just gonna do it out. Okay so the schedule says 11.40 um, and it says that batch one two three are likely so I am going to go along. There is some music going on. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go along and wait it out I guess. Oh there's a girl in a jump, a Captain Jack cosplay and I freaking love it. It's so warm. I don't even know if you can hear it because I'm speaking really low. But that is amazing. Did you see it? Amy Santiago is an amazing detective slash genius. I love it. I love these cosplays. It's making my life. But my arm hurts and I'm just gonna go and like sit down and try and not freak the fuck out about me and Drake the Malfoy. There is a stormtrooper. I've never seen Star Wars, but I know that's a stormtrooper. Oh my god, there's a small child waving at the stormtrooper. Oh my god, that is <laughs> That was the cutest thing. The little boy just ran up and hugged the stormtrooper. Oh my god. Um, what time is it? Okay, so it's 11.40. And there's a bunch of people. I think they're still there for hours, maybe someone. I don't know. But I'm just gonna go and see what happens. Excited. So this is what the um the photo shoot is looking like. But I see someone with a Slytherin bag, so I'm in the right place. 
It's Detective Pikachu. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Look at him waddling, I love yes. it! We stand oh, Pikachu! Know. I thought I am Ghostbusters. It's just the. Oh. We found Davros. This is amazing. It's iconic. <laughs> I think this is Melody Blackman. We got some glitter tattoo things. Um, <laughs> I don't know what this is. I just let her do her thing. Um, and that's what I ended up with. We're on an inflatable seat. I can just see bursting or falling. I mean, I, I'm I can, on the floor. I can feel the floor. But you know, says there, there probably is a weight limit to this that we drastically exceed. But um, wait, we're still here. I just bought three books at a stall, and um, they gave me a free tote bag because I bought three books. Except the free tote bag has Cassandra Clare and The Wicked King on it, and we know how I feel about both those authors. Slash. Um, series, so great. Um, I have so many raffles that I need to like figure out when they're drawn. If I've won, I'll check their Twitters and stuff. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna like have a break. It's only three o'clock, feels like a lot later, but feeling good. And I'm kind of sad that it's over tomorrow, but at the same time, I kind of am ready for it to be over. My bank account is like, I am, I am doing bad like i was all buzzing at bookcon i was like oh i brought like however many hundred dollars home and now i'm like can i eat tonight what eat i'm making good. you have sausages with you <laughs> i ate them all i ate them all this morning yeah. i would try to eat five sausages and i was like that was a bad idea but yeah um but no i'm making like a pasta bolognese oh can I go for that. do we have garlic bread Thank God. So yeah, I'm gonna like take stock of what I've bought, panic about it fitting into a suitcase. No, my brain. Um, See if my dad will send oh, me some money. Well, I know I can hear you now. Oh. I'm vlogging these guys instead of me because I'm not over my face yet. Woo! Um, I'm tired, but I have a bag of with a lemon and a lime and some time. Work it, model, work it. Whee! Do you want me to do, you want me to do a little like? Yeah, what's show in my bag? What's in my bag? What's in my Elizabeth Acevedo bag? What's in my bag, it, yeah. <laughs> We've got Woo! a lemon. We have a lemon. Woo! It's a yellow, pointy thing. It's quite a weird looking lemon. It's a little bit dirty, but you know. It, we you don't love, eat the love, skin. We love, we love the earth. Yeah, we love the earth. <laughs> we love the earth. Please tell me you've all seen Lil Dicky's video. Yes. Thank right, you you guys need to watch that. Then we have a lime. Lime. It's very green and round for everyone's gin and tonic. Don't drink his brown tea. We have some thyme. This lovely little label and a lovely little picture of the cooler for all your herby needs. A new endo. There's, there's also a recipe. Don't forget the recipe. Huh? There's a recipe card. Is that? Ooh. And also a recipe card. <laughs> Ironically, with none of, the, none of the none of the ingredients are in the bag. We are having a, a book con bubble gum moment. <laughs> serious black. Serious. She's saying serious. 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 It sounds so weird now. Serious. Yeah, see. I'm just explaining how the philosopher's stone is made up of three stones, which is serious. the white, the black, and the red, and, and the black is serious. <laughs> the white is Albus, Dumbledore, Albus is white in Latin. And then, I thought you were meaning his actual race. I was like, don't give J.K. Rowling the opportunity to say he's like ambiguous on that um, front. Rubius Hagrid is the red stone. Why would Hagrid be? Red. And they're all father figures, Harry. Oh. <laughs> no, no, that's where the theory comes from. It's not my theory. It is a I good know, theory. Like, I've it. It's a good theory, but I'm we we cannot let JK onto this. JK can't get onto that because she will cling to it. The 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 one is white. Every single one. <laughs> one of every. Single. Let me see your ticket. One hundred twenty-one. 
Look at this stretchy beast. Okay guys, day two of Yelk is done. I am literally dead. I've taken the fucking glitter off my head because wow. Um, Tom is vlogging also because we need to expose this absolute mess of a human. How many books do we think we've gotten today? So basically Tom is vlogging because we don't trust me to actually be like, this is what I did today. You know, at least in my hall, I can just say London, but no. I, bicks, many bicks. I'm guessing 17 and that's in one day. I got eight yesterday. I am shitting it for trying to get these in my case tomorrow. Well, now. Okay, you know that it's bad when um, you can fit. These are like on the floor and it's it's reaching up. So, um, I don't Hold think on. it's 17. I, Fuck me. I don't think it's 17. It's still one, not very good. Two, seven, I'm panicking now. Eight, 10, oh shit, 11. <laughs> 14, 15. But you know where the 17 came from? It came from these two notepads that I was obviously mistaking. So I guessed right on my number, right? So it's all fine because I'm smart. <laughs> Absolute fucking mess. How am I going to get these home, Tom? I don't know. It's your, it's your lack of self control, not mine. No, no, it's my lack of shelf control. You're dead to me. Blame the publishers for being like, if you buy a book, I'll give you a tote bag. Or if if you buy anything, I'll give you a William Shatner book. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? I've got a fucking free William Shatner book. <laughs> I don't like William Shatner. Why did you even get it? My stepdad offered to drive me down here when I was having a meltdown about coming. Mm -hmm. And then he found out William Shatner was at London Film and Comic Con and he was like, oh, maybe we could try and stay in London. And he was going to try and come down and stay and get a travel lodge and stuff. Um, and then when he just, when, when I was like, no, it's fine, like, don't worry about it. And he was like, okay, yeah, it's a bit last minute. He was like, oh, but see if you can meet William Shatner for me. And I was like, I'm not paying 60 quid to meet him. So he's going to get this and think it's been signed by him and it hasn't, but like, he's still, he's still getting a book. And you know, maybe one day I'll watch Star Trek and fall in love with William Shatner. I'm gonna go and try and pack this case and cry and then probably message everyone I know that lives in London and be like, please meet me in Kensington tomorrow with a case. And also watch Little Prince with me in a bit, maybe. If I'm not having a mental breakdown over this case. Okay. Hey, Ashley. Hi, question. Yeah. Do you guys want a bowl or a plate and a spoon or a fork? I don't care about the actual bowl. holding thing um bowl is probably better mm -hmm. but a fork and a fork once upon a time there was a little prince who lived on a planet that was scarcely bigger than himself Tom's having a moment watching the little prince. <laughs> We're having a moment. Having a moment <laughs> I'm having a moment. Entirely. But I'm vlogging because I want to ask Ashley to laugh without smiling. <laughs> <laughs> right, hold on, take a moment. Compose yourself and then laugh without smiling. I forgot how people Tom? Uh -oh. Would you laugh without smiling? Wait, laugh without smiling. Come on, ah. Wait, I used to be able to do it. Just because I knew that they were all ready to set off. <laughs> or say bubbles in your angriest voice. Bubbles! Just makes you laugh, like. <laughs> bubbles. Okay. Bubbles! <laughs> what do you think it is about the word bubbles? Do you Wait, think it's such a. Uh, <laughs> My son! <laughs> It's an end joke. There won't ever be a moment when I won't think.
here. Jesus Christ, the whole building's awake. Emma's vlogging me now, and I'm, I think Emma may or may not be vlogging me as I vlog myself, so I think, I think our vlog should make out. Oh, they've been Reunion. doing you wait. Oh my god, that is the cringiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Con concept, con Cock. Cock. <laughs> We know what's on John's mind! <laughs> That's demisexual mind! Okay, if you want context for that joke, just watch the NYC vlog. Um, our vlogs made out constantly throughout just that Just like show. Tom and I, every night. Oh, maybe I should mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why? All right, Scooby-Doo! Please be sure to give this video a wonderful little like and subscribe if you haven't already and press that wonderful little bell icon so you can be notified as to when I upload all the new videos. <laughs> all my links are down there in the description! Oh my god! My, <laughs> my voice is going... <laughs> B-roll! B-roll! <laughs> <laughs> Do like a, something funny for the outro. Just do something funny for the outro. Everything I do is comedic genius. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nipple. <laughs> that definitely wasn't my one. <laughs> my nipples are really low. <laughs> I don't need to know that. Although I was going to say I just estimated on mine sliding off. <laughs> now everyone in Tom's channel knows where our nipples are. I mean, I bet they thought they were arse cheeks. <laughs> imagine you had nipples on your arse cheeks. <laughs> like, no way. Imagine no breastfeeding from wait. my arse. <laughs> no. Would you rather have <laughs> bum cheeks <laughs> for boobs or boobs for bum cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> I think probably <laughs> bum cheeks for boobs. I don't want a flat, saggy arse. The end of that vlog is just gonna be you asking that question. Oh my god, I can't wait for the responses. So Tom's crying. He's questioning his life choices. I'm never coming, I'm never staying with you. Like, the can we just ever. point out though, like if we hadn't started our channels at like the same time, we'd never be discussing this such like It's your fault you started your channel. Ow! That's a heavy You know pillow. what? You know what? You know what? I blame Tom. Don't look at the moment. So I'm just out of focus, but I'm reading my comment on Tom's booktube newbie tag and I said consider yourself befriended. I mean provided you want to be friends with little old me and look at that! Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> You've got me still. That's not a positive. <laughs> look that at this. So look at the weird. look at the A specs being affection. <laughs> like are we okay? I'm demisexual. I'm a very, very affectionate. That's like a spec, though. So that's what. I yeah, it's a spec. Demisexual. So we excited very, to very see. So excited to see all the great content you're going to bring to the community. We're excited to have you. It's wrong. Yay! Thank you so much. First off, I have two cats. I love this. We started our friendship discussing cats. Yeah, sounds about right. Oh, that's so precious. Who would have thought that we would be sitting discussing boobs for? <laughs> well, five minutes later, we became friends in a live show. We didn't talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why we got on so well. <laughs> no, you, we became friends because you wanted my sofa. Let's be let real about that. I need to go and have a shit. <laughs> that is the reality of booktubers. We all shit. You Everyone know. has bowel movements. Some more than others. Just don't stink us out. I'm trying to fart. I think your fart's coming, maybe. I like your semi colon. Sorry, what? Is that like your semicolon? <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying you like to shake a lot. <laughs> what? <laughs> you two need to go to bed. You're both colon. <laughs> oh God, use your ears. I did you said colon? I said I like your semicolon <laughs> while staring at it. <laughs> mm. oh.